because you know I've, I've, since I've gotten some things situated, I have some time freed up now. Now that my kids are back in school, so I can put I can put more time into my channel. So I'm gonna put up a poll for you guys, so you guys can vote on the type of reading that you want. I'm gonna put up like four different types of reading. I'm, I'm thinking about like pick a card, ancestor reads, twin flame, and it was another reading which I can't think of. It, I, I think it was elemental reading, like readings per element. Um, but I'm going to put up a poll, so you guys be on the lookout for that. I'm going to put it up shortly. It's probably going to be put up before this video is released because it kind of takes a long time and I'm doing it on my phone. Um, what else? My calendar. I'm thinking about leaving my calendar open for the video reads for those of you that would like to have those um, guidance readings. Um, but I will not be doing any phone reads and I will not... Be doing any more of these specials after the end of this month so if you guys are interested in getting the yearly specials the quarterly specials even the forecast um you got to get that before the end of november at the end of november i will not be offering those readings anymore all right so let's get started i think that's all up oh. I got, I still got um, merchandise on sale in my store. I keep forgetting to let people know that I got this shit, y'all. I'm serious. Like, <laughs> I got books, cards, um, clothing, merch, it, whatever you could think of. I probably got it on my website. So go ahead and check it out, www.intimatewisdom.net. I'm not going to put the link at the, I'm not even going to say it because I'm going to forget. So I'm not going to put the link at the bottom. Um, just the link is in the description. If you guys are interested in that, if you guys are interested in booking a read with me, the link is in the description. Um, I'm still kind of on the fence about whether or not I'm going to continue to offer the video reads past November. Um, we'll see how the end of November goes. <laughs> All right, so let's get started with the read. This is, we're going to be doing a tarot read. Okay. Using my cards, the tarot wisdom cards. First card out, strength card. Could be Leo energy. Um, that definitely talks about, strength talks about overcoming your own inner conflicts or your own inner demons it's like facing your inner demons and choosing to overpower or overcome it um i chose the elephant on my strength card because the elephant represents a quiet strength not like a, a physical even though the elephant is huge and they do have physical strength their strength comes from them being as gentle as they are to me you feel me those like they can exude their strength when necessary but for the most part these are what I consider peaceful animals. Some some people might not, but I consider them peaceful and I fucking love them. Y'all like I paint in my hair. I've been painting, moving, and it's just been a lot. Anyway, so we got strength card under here, justice card in here. It could be Libra energy. This is about some of you guys are trying to find the strength to balance some things out in your life. Maybe the strength to make some decisions. You could be weighing some out some options. Um heart over mind, mind over heart, however you want to see it. That's literally what I have. I have the mind and the heart on this scale so for a lot of you guys this is about finding uh finding the strength to make a decision um for some of you guys i feel like with the death here scorpio energy this is finding the strength to make a change so i feel like for some of you guys you're having to kind of put your mind over your heart in this scenario and make the appropriate decision for yourself four of wands here i mean uh eight of wands reverse some of you guys I feel like you're needing to cut away some sort of communication. Okay, so some of you guys are needing to cut away some some, some communication. Five of Cups here. Um, you could be dealing with a situation or a circumstance that creates some a circumstance that creates some sort of um, regrets. Five of Cups is definitely regretful energy. It's almost like there's a stagnant energy here that someone has to find the strength to move past, and this stagnant energy may be because someone was in the space of like dealing with heartbreak or dealing with something that they feel as though didn't go in their favor two of swords under here maybe even having block mentality or, or a block mindset not seeing things clearly uh, and could be unwilling to make a decision um three of pentacles here maybe someone has some regrets over some sort of partnership or regrets of cooperating working with someone nine of swords here i feel like there's a partnership that brings about some sort of anxiety for someone temperance here Maybe they've been waiting for something to balance out or someone may have been waiting for some sort of communication. Uh, if you've been waiting for communication, 10 cups under here, this could be someone that you've had some sort of past, yeah, 10 minus five is five, is still regret. Someone that you could have had some sort of past connection with. And if I'm not mistaken, Venus is in retrograde in Capricorn. So you definitely could be wanting to work on past relationships that you feel that did not work out in the best, you know, way 
but they actually did. Um, this is the thing about this. A lot of times we like to go back to past relationships or past situations that we know we don't need to, especially when certain things are happening in the cosmos. We feel the urge to go back and try to fix these situations. The only reason why you want to fix the situation is because you felt like maybe you didn't work hard enough or you didn't input or, you know, didn't do enough work. Whatever happened in this situation happened. It needed to happen. It was divine timing. It was a divine situation. Um, the regret that you feel is that it didn't come together. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you need to find the strength to let it go because Eight of Wands reverse means it's not going to move forward. So you may want to go and revisit someone from the past, want to go and talk about it. You really need to take a second, a step back. Um, for a lot of you guys, this is someone that you may have had a lot of feelings for. Um, this doesn't necessarily have to be also a romantic relationship because Three of Pentacles represents either a friendship, a friendship, partnership, a work relationship. Um, so this could be even kind of thinking about going back to an old job or an old career or something that you once had some sort of emotional fulfillment or emotional connection to that did not work out the way that you wanted it to. And there's some regret of things not moving forward, but you have to find the strength to allow that situation to the end, allow whatever was in the past to stay in the past because you're in a new energy, you're in a new present, if that makes sense. All right, so let's see here. We got 10 cups here. Yeah, so for a lot of you guys, I feel like this there was divine timing in regards to whatever this situation is. Five cups, I mean, five pinnacles here. So definitely some challenges either, not either, definitely challenges emotionally as well as physically with whatever this was. Now, emotionally, there was a lot of, of attachment, a lot of, there was a lot involved, a lot of feelings, okay? Um, the problem is these feelings have been replaced by regret. Um, I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're within time, you'll start to be more appreciative that this situation was as complicated as it was or was as challenging as it was because the rewards that you received later on from learning this lesson are going to be tenfold. You feel me? So I feel like for a lot of you guys, you do have some regret about something not working out in the past. It doesn't have to even be a relationship. It could be something that you've invested your energy in. It could be for a lot of you guys, maybe it's something that you were investing your mind in um investing your time in investing your passions in so it could have been a career it could have been um a, a, a hobby it, it could be something as simple as looking back at a hobby you used to have and like dang i wish i could have been more successful with that hobby like actually completed it or followed through all right for some of you guys this could be a relationship all right um someone i, I feel like there's definitely a change to the situation something is not moving forward and someone is very much in regret that things are not working out um either this is current energy or this is past energy but this is also about finding the strength to allow this ending to take place all right we have the seven of swords Woo. Ending the reading with the Seven of Swords and the Lovers card here. So for a lot of you guys, someone may have been lying. Um, you could have been lying. Because the only reason why I say you, this is, to me, from what I'm reading here, this is not an external thing. This is an internal thing. So you could have been lying to yourself about the choices that you made. Especially if you thinking about going back now, you could be in your mind saying, well, you know, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was. And it was. <laughs> it was as bad as you thought it was because at the moment you were living it. Um, once we get out of certain situations or circumstances and look back, we tend to kind of look at it through rose colored glasses instead of looking at the reality of what was. Whatever this was that you went through brought a lot of anxiety. There was no forward movement in this situation. There was a lot of um, complicated emotions and a lot of complicated things foundationally with it. Even it could have even been challenges dealing with money, especially if this is like, say, a relationship. You could have been having challenges with money. Um, there, someone could have been in space of feeling like left out, feeling not reciprocated within their energy those feelings were real and they were necessary at the time in order to remove you from whatever situation this was but for a lot of you guys yeah especially under here someone has some anxiety um really trying to create some sort of interference um so it looks like underneath here there's some sort of interference in really retreating and and taking control because someone is in the space of holding on to 
the past of holding on to what was, and that's what's creating, that four of pentacles is under there, that's what's creating this five of pentacles, this challenge, this left out in the cold, because someone's holding on to something that is not, it's non-existent. So say for instance, y'all, I got paint all, I didn't even know I had all this goddamn paint in my hair. Fuck. Anyway, <laughs> I gotta wash my hair. I just washed my hair, like, anyway. I definitely feel like someone here has been lying to themselves about a previous decision that they made, whether it be a job. Um, say, for instance, you quit a job and you've been, you know, either freelancing it, working for yourself, whatever. You may have these rose-colored glasses and thinking that, you know, maybe my job wasn't as bad as I thought it was. Maybe I was just overreacting. But in reality, at that point, you knew that you needed to leave that situation, whether it's a job, person, place, or thing. Um, don't allow yourself to be... disillusioned is, is that the word i'm looking for i don't know if that's the word i'm looking for but i feel like no I, I i don't allow yourself to be in a space of smoke and mirrors you feel me like you know when we look back at memories we don't see them exactly as they happen we see them as we wanted them to happen or we see them as what make what would make us feel better and that's just human nature that's how our minds and that's how our being work the human mind and the human body would like to have pleasant experiences and tries to block out anything that is not pleasant. So for a lot of you guys, this is definitely a sense of lying to yourself, whether it, it could even be a friendship. You could, you could have an old friend that's coming around or it could be a relationship, a past relationship, or you could be in a space of thinking, you know, maybe I should give this another go because this is something that at one point did make me happy i'm not saying it didn't but i am saying with these five cups here this five pinnacles is also something that created a lot of challenges something that made you feel unhappy um made you feel left out um abandoned even um and with this lovers here in the seven of swords you could be in the space of needing to take what is necessary take the lesson okay and leave the conflict behind and i feel like for a lot of and that is the five swords is that's learning the lesson. I feel like for some of you guys, you made unwise decisions previously and whatever this is that we're talking about. And it's about learning the lesson and really choosing to move forward um, and, and remove that blockage that you have now with them moving forward. Because a lot of you guys are not, eight of ones reverse is not moving forward and you're not moving forward because you're in the space of regret about something not coming together and you're wanting to re- visit that but all you're going to do is put yourself in the space of reliving that trauma and you do not want to relive trauma you've already learned it's going to be 10 times worse so take the lesson find the strength to transform to put an end to this so that you can move forward toward better decisions for yourself because for some of you guys i feel like it's even just the fact that it may not have worked for you you feel me like you may see someone else succeeding in something that you wanted whether it be a relationship, whether it be a job, whether it be um, even just in life, you may see them succeeding in something that you desired and now you want to go and try to revamp that or redo that. You need to focus on moving forward. That may not have been your blessing. All right, so I want to clarify this: why this Eight of Wands is in reverse. Why is this Eight of Wands, is, why is this eight of Wands in reverse? We got the Six of Wands here and the King of Pentacles here. So the Eight of Wands is in reverse because I feel like someone is dealing with a lot of pride here. Um, pride about winning, about being on top. Four of Cups here and that's regret. Four of Cups is, is, is displeasure. It's, it's almost to the point of depression. So someone may be in a space of feeling like their, their ego or their pride has been bruised um, because they are no longer in the space of being in that top position or being the boss of a situation and it could be you you could have felt very in control in the situation now this could be also be opposing energy um especially with the eight of wands because that's almost cutting off communication you know cutting off all communication regretting a partnership someone could be in a space of cutting off communication with someone regretting even cooperating or even participating in something because it brings about so much anxiety someone may feel as though it's time for them to be happy so they're changing their circumstances and escaping a situation to have that all right so i want to see why this uh seven of swords here why is the seven of swords here we got knight of cups here wait wait my back and the three of wands. Yeah, so someone has had a lot of patience. Someone has tried to have a lot of patience here following their heart. Knight of swords here. This is movement. 
So we got two knights here with this three of wands. Someone has had a lot of patience, but I feel like someone is in the space of wanting to escape uh, circumstances, escaping situation. And it could be the fact that, like I said, this is someone that looks like they're coming back and wanting to try to fix a situation. And whoever they're coming back to may be in the space of wanting to escape even the communication, even the, they don't want to come back together. So like I said, if it's a job, you may want to go back to an old job, but they may be like, no, we don't want you back. Um, if this is someone coming back to you, you might be like, I, motherfucker, I don't want you, you know, keep tripping, keep moving. All right. So let's see what guidance we have. What guidance do we have for the collective moving forward? Transcend, most definitely. It says you did it. You have, see, since somebody's coming back, I don't know if it's you or somebody's coming back to you or something is coming back around. It may not even be a person. It may be a situation, a circumstance that's come back around. You've learned the lesson. You've completed the cycle. So some of you guys are finding the strength to end it, to transcend. And I just saw 555. There's definitely a change that is happening to your physical, you know, life. So you're definitely like, no, I, I don't want to go back into whatever this was. I'm moving forward. Says you did it. You have completed your cycles and emerged from the dark. Remember what it took for you to get here and acknowledge that you come too far to give this up. You've gained the world. Your dreams are becoming your reality. Don't you dare give up now. So for a lot of you guys, you're definitely in a space of, you know, moving away from something. What messages do we have? All right. So we have abundance and intuition. Some of you guys know that you got so much more in store for you. You know that you got abundance around the corner and all you got to do is get the fuck away from this shit that was dragging you down in order to get to it. So some of you guys, you're following your intuition. You're transcending the situation. You've been through the darkness. It says through the darkness, we find our light, a lantern we lit for ourselves lifetimes ago. You are the guide that is within the dark. This path has already been written for you. This path has already been written for you. This is your fate. Your destiny. Get the words out. We got abundance here. It says, Spirit suggests opening your heart space to receive the blessings that are already in route to you. My baby. There <laughs> you Okay. It says, Spirit suggests opening your heart space to receive your blessings that are already in route to you. Your hard work and dedication have been recognized and your prayers are being answered. Don't shy away from your blessings. All right, so that's all we have. Until next time, y'all.